Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. In this video, I will show you guys the part 9 of the top 10 Studio Tweaks compatible with iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and also leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. And so, let's get started. App Drawer. This tweak will bring a kind of like Android style app drawer to your device. So here I have it. This is the icon of the tweak. So it's best to put it on the dock. So from anywhere on your device, you can have quick access to it. So you can see if I open it, I will have here all of my apps. So I have a list of all my apps right here. And here are the favorites. Here we'll have to choose your favorite apps and put them there so you can have quick access to them. So let's go to the settings of this tweak and see what we have here. So you can enable a dark mode for the app drawer. So just enable it here and then you can hide different apps from app drawer. So if you don't want to see any of your apps there, just go here and enable the switches right here. Then you have the favorite applications. So you need to choose here your favorite apps and then you will have them under the favorite section here on the app drawer. So you can see here, here are the favorites, which is pretty cool. So you will have quick access to your favorite apps. And lower here, you can also hide this springboard icon. So if you wanna hide any of your apps from the home screen, just go ahead and enable them right here. Prediction shortcuts. This tweak will replace the predictive text with shortcuts as you can see them right here. So if I type a text here, I can easily select it just like this. I can cut it or I can copy it or I can paste it as easy as that. This is very useful. So let's quickly jump to the settings of this tweak. We have an enable button and then you can show the shortcuts only if there is no auto correction and only if you have selected text. So if you select a text, it will show you the shortcuts. And then lower here, you have also bar configuration. So you have the main shortcuts. You can change them right here. So you can enable or disable any of them and choose which of them you want to see in the main section on the predictive section on the keyboard of your device. Speed intensifier speeds up the animations of your device. So under the settings of this tweak, you have to enable it here. And then you have here the speed of the animations. You can pick any speed. You can see how fast the animations are. So you can see when I open and close a folder, when I open an app, the animations are extremely fast. To install this tweak, you will need to add a repo, which you will find in the description of this video. Face down. This tweak will lock your device simply by putting it face down. So you can see here, I just put my device face down and it will lock it. It's as simple as that. The tweak doesn't have any options to configure. All you have to do is install it. No click home. This tweak allows you to use your home button without clicking it. But of course you will have to have a device that has a touch ID, not just a simple home button. So for example, if I, if I open an app right here, if I want to go out of this app, I don't need to press the home button. All I have to do is just touch it. And as you can see, it will take me to the home screen. No emergency button is a simple tweak for the passcode screen on the lock screen of your device. What it does is that it will remove the emergency button from the passcode screen. The tweak doesn't have any options to configure. Naughty Plus Plus. This tweak allows you to customize the notification center of your device. You can see here if I pull down the notification center, it will be much faster because it will disable the bounce animation and it will be way faster. You can also remove the date on the notification center. You can make it open on the widget page and also you can enable a dark mode for the notification center. So let's go to the settings of this tweak. So you have here pull on first swipe for the notification and control center. So you can enable it here. You can enable a dark mode. Also iOS 9 grabber style. You can here, you can remove that bounce effect that the notification center has. And also you have here remove date and day from the notification center and open on the widget. So you, it opens on the widgets page, not here on the notifications page. So to install this tweak, you will need to add a repo, which you will find in the description of the video. Perpetual 10. This tweak will prevent the lock screen notifications from being dismissed even if you unlock your device. So even if you unlock your device by accident and you didn't see the notifications on the lock screen when you lock your device again, you will still have the notifications there. Reacher Switcher. This tweak will replace the reachability view with the app switcher. So when you double tap on the home button, instead of going to the reachability view, it will take you to the app switcher. So as you can see here under the settings of this tweak, all you have is an enable button to enable or disable it. 
action menu. This tweak will customize the action menu based on the apps that you're using and will make it way more useful. So you can see here if I select the text I can go ahead and copy it with this copy icon or I can share that text directly from the action menu. So let's jump to the settings of this tweak. So you have an enable button, you can enable table view support and also you can enable, enable here the icon. So you saw that the copy was an icon so I tap the copy icon and it copies the text. Lower here you have the plugin actions, you can enable or disable any of them and also you can enable or disable any of the default actions of the action menu. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's. For more videos like this make sure to subscribe, also don't forget to follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of this video.